The same is true when a fly which is homozygous recessive for both genes brown and scarlet is mated with a fly which is wild type for these two genes. Note that the double mutant will have white eyes because it is missing both the transporters which transport uh, scarlet pigments and brown pigments and, it, and therefore will have white eyes. When these flies are crossed, all of the offspring in the F1 generation receive a dominant wild type allele from one parent and with at least one dominant allele for each of the brown and scarlet genes, these flies would have the normal brick red eyes. And so therefore, these are double heterozygotes. They are dihybrids, but uh, they display the wild type phenotype. When wild type flies are crossed with flies which are homozygous for both the brown and the scarlet mutations. Uh, in the F1 generation, all flies are heterozygous for these two genes and therefore have the wild type brick red eye color. In the F2 generation, one observes that 9 sixteenths of the offspring have the wild type brick red eye color because 9 sixteenths of the offspring have at least one dominant allele for each of these two genes. 3 sixteenths are homozygous for the brown mutation and therefore have brown eyes. 3 sixteenths are homozygous for the scarlet mutation and therefore possess scarlet eyes. And 1 sixteenth are homozygous for both the brown and scarlet genes and being unable to transport either the brown or scarlet pigments into the, uh, the Drosophila eye, therefore then have white eyes which are devoid of pigment. So one observes a 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio in the F2 generation of brick red or wild type eyes to brown eyes to scarlet eyes to white eyes. This ratio is observed because the genes brown and scarlet uh, assort independently.